So welcome. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Rocco Volpe. I'm the Deputy Fire Chief of Operations with Central York Fire Services. I am so happy to be the host of this evening's graduation ceremony. This will be the first ever graduation ceremony at Station 45, our new Central York Fire Headquarters. Thank you, Chief Lang, both mayors of Newmarket and Aurora, and council for the support of our new fire station and headquarters. Tonight, fire administration are thrilled and excited to open their doors and host the 2023 recruit graduation. It brings us pleasure to meet the families and friends of our newest graduates and having the opportunity to socialize with you and celebrate the accomplishments together. Personally, I would like to welcome all attendees who are dear friends of Central York Fire Services. This year, Central York Fire hired six recruits who you will meet shortly. These recruits have completed an intense training program and will be joining one of the best fire departments in Ontario. We have equipped them with the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed to respond to emergencies, protect lives and property, and uphold the values of Central York Fire Services to serve with professionalism, honor, and integrity. Just want to take a moment to go over some housekeeping rules. Before we get started, I would like to review a couple of uh, items. This fire station is a working fire station. It is equipped with a single stage fire alarm. Should the, sound, uh, should the alarm sound, we ask everyone to remain calm and slowly make your way to the back through the bay doors. Washrooms. Washrooms are located to your right. You will be greeted by uh, college uh, uh, students who will guide you to the washrooms. Uh, they can be identified with their baby blue uh, station wear. Uh, thank you for uh, helping us out. And uh, washrooms are located in the front of the building and also in the back. We welcome the use of cameras to capture these special moments with, uh, within the venue. To the family members and friends, please feel free to make your way up to the stage. We keep this really uh, informal and we would like for you to make your way up here and take pictures with your, uh, with your children. I ask kindly that you put your cell phone on silent during the ceremony. So if we could just take a moment and take care of that. If able, I would like everyone to stand as the graduation class of 2023 is piped in. Everyone, I would like to introduce the 2023 recruit class.
Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem, sung by Aaron Wrightson. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command, with glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true nor strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. I'd like to say a special thank you to Aaron. Central York Fire Services, official singer for the singing of Own Canada. I'd like now to start uh, with our land acknowledgement. The town of Aurora acknowledge, acknowledges that the Anishinaabe lands on which we live and work are the traditional and treaty territory of the Chippewas of Georgina Island, as well as many other nations whose presence here continues to this day. As the closest First Nation community to Aurora, we have recognized the special relationship with the Chippewas have with the lands and waters of this territory. They are the water protectors and environmental stewards of these lands, and the municipality we join them in these responsibilities. We further acknowledge that Aurora is part of the treaty lands of the Mississaugas and Chippewas, recognized through Treaty Number 13, as well as the William Treaties of 1923. A shared understanding of the rich cultural heritage that has existed for centuries, and how our collective past brought us to where we are today, will keep us walking together into a better future. Today, we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of the Central York Fire Services Recruit Class of 2023. Their hard work, determination, and passion for fire safety has brought all these individuals here today. Joining us this evening in person, we have NP Tony Van Bynen for the communities of Aurora, Oak Ridges, and Richmond Hill. MP Leah Taylor Roy's office for the communities of Aurora, Oak Ridges, and Richmond Hill. And I apologize for MP Tony Van Bynen's office is for the communities of Aurora and Newmarket. My apologies. I would also like to acknowledge all the other elected officials from the municipalities of Aurora and Newmarket who have joined us tonight. Once I have read everyone's names, please stand to be acknowledged, including the dignitaries that I mentioned so far. Joining us this evening, we have Councillor uh, and JCC member Kelly Broom from the town of Newmarket. Also from the town of Newmarket, we have Councillor Bob Kowapis, who's present with us. We also have from the town of Newmarket and the past Madam Chair of JCC, Christina Bazance. And my ward councillor for the town of Newmarket, Grace Simon. From the town of Aurora, we have the current Madam Chair of the JCC, Rachel Gilliland. We have councillor Whitney Gardner, also from the town of Aurora, with us uh, this evening. We also have, from the Office of the Fire Marshal and Emergency Management, Keith Wells the Assistant Deputy Fire Marshal. President J. 
Jason Buving is also present with us. He is the president and represents the professional firefighters, Loco 2511. Finally, Becky Lowe, the wife of the late Chris Lowe, who was a CYFS firefighter, and her two lovely daughters, Julie and Peyton. If you guys could kindly take uh, just a quick stand and uh, be recognized, I guess we could all clap now. I would also like to take a moment and acknowledge the following members of the Central York Fire Services management team. Unfortunately, Due to unforeseen circumstances, Fire Chief Ian Lang and Deputy Fire Chief Jeremy Ingalls could not be here this evening, but they send their congratulations to each recruit. Present tonight from our management team, we have Assistant Deputy Fire Chief Claude Duval. We have Platoon Chief Dan Waters. We also have Jennifer Rose, our HR business partner in attendance tonight. Heather Weaver our HR generalist for Central York Fire. And finally, Chief of Fire Prevention, Ryan Shell, who last night won the 2023 Al Suman Award for Fire Prevention Employee of the Year. This award our Chief won recognizes the significant contribution made by an individual in the field of fire prevention and or public education within our community. Chief, we are very proud of you. Also in attendance this evening, we have our training officers, Andrew Burdett, Robert Nagel, and Captain uh, Reutman. Do you mind if you guys can just stand up? In addition, I would like to acknowledge Acting Captain Philip Montgomery. Thank you for his sir comment during the recruit class and assisting the training division to train the recruits in developing their firefighting skills. Unfortunately, Phil uh, had uh, vacation plans and uh, won't be joining us this evening, but he wishes you all the best. To all the in-house shift instructors, thank you for all your hard work, dedication, and passing along your skills and knowledge to the recruits. York Region Fire Chiefs and Deputies, thank you for your attendance. We have Deputy Zwicker from Georgina Fire present with us uh, tonight. Thank you. I also like to acknowledge D Platoon, the on duty suppression crew tonight. Captain uh, Corey Lawrence is in charge of the house tonight, and all other CYFS personnel who are in attendance this evening. To the fire graduates, I would like to say first and foremost, congratulations. To the family and friends who are joining us this evening, I would like for you to meet the class of 2023. my community and I wanted to be a role model for young women. If you put your mind to something, you can do anything. Um, it was great to just get that experience. I didn't have a volunteer hall around me here. I live in Oshawa, so I had to move to BC in order to get that experience I wanted. It's the best job in the world, so hearing that news is just, you won the lottery at the end of the day.
Uh, so, I've always wanted to be a firefighter. It runs in the family. I uh, had an uncle who was on here for 33 years with Central York. Uh, kind of my, uh, like I said, dream, dream as a kid. is the uh, 1999 uh, York Region Junior Firefighter. Um, I uh, got that when I was nine years old, so that's kind of where the dream kind of started a little bit. Serving in my hometown is uh, really unique. It's one of a kind. Um, I get to serve the, you know, my friends and family, uh, people I grew up with, um, and also get to know uh, the town of Aurora as well. Uh, it felt amazing. I was almost speechless on the phone when HR called me, so uh, I couldn't be more proud to serve the community of Aurora and Newmarket. I decided to be a firefighter when I went on a mission trip to Guatemala, so that decided the, the reward of helping people uh, in any community, so that's why I decided to be a firefighter. It's a great team, uh, the wealth of knowledge throughout the years that these guys have had, and uh, just to soak it all in and learn as much as I can in my long career, I hope I have here at uh, Central York. Good job. Holy smokes, I was at work, I had to step out of the, the work trailer and honestly when uh, Jen, Jen talked to me, I had no idea what to say, I was just totally lost for words. She asked if I had any questions and I asked if I could give her a call back when I let it sink in. Uh, just totally, totally lost for words, it's, it's been a long road to get here but uh, I couldn't imagine ending up with a, a better fire department. I'm a third generation firefighter in my family. Uh, I grew up kicking around the firehouse with my grandfather and my uncle. Always since day one, that's what, I, what my plan was and what I always wanted to do. Growing up in a firefighting background, I'm fourth generation down home in Woolwich and uh, I always enjoyed helping people. I had the drive for it since I was a little kid and uh, just followed my dreams and I get to stand here today which is amazing. So Always stick with it. Just because something doesn't pan out, that's okay. There's always multiple roads that lead you to this path. I sure am one of them. I uh, had to do many different paths to lead me here and I, I get to stand here today and again it's, a, it's a very much an honour to stand here and uh, represent Central York as a department. For me, I wanted to step up and answer the call. Uh, I woke up one morning and a light switch had flipped. I'd been a volunteer for many years and it was really about going career and finding a career department and to be part of something bigger than myself for sure. And with the team environment, it's just been an incredible experience thus far and I wanted to um, make sure that my kids were proud of me as well. For the whole family, it's really been a journey. Um, my wife's at home running the household with my two boys who are seven and three. So it's just to have them in my corner and that support, uh, it's just amazing and I can't wait for graduation for them to see me on the big stage. <laughs> I embarrass you guys enough? <laughs> yeah, that was excellent. I'm very proud of you. On behalf of all personnel at Central York Fire Services, welcome to our family. At this time, I would like to offer the opportunity uh, to our elected officials and fire partners to come forward to give their uh, remarks. I'd like to call up NP Tony Van Bynen for the communities of Aurora and Newmarket. Thank you very much, uh, Rocco. Uh, I'm deeply honoured to join you here today. Honoured and pleased to stand here with the 2023 Central York Fire Services recruits and their families as we celebrate a very significant achievement. An achievement earned through hard work, excelling at training opportunities, and constantly demonstrating that you are the best of the best. Being invited to join the Central York Fire Services is an honor, but one that comes with huge responsibilities. You are joining an exceptional fire department, one with great leadership, outstanding teams and that are committed to providing our community with exceptional service. You're joining a team on the cutting edge of technology and training equipped with the tools that allow our community to feel safe and supported in any situation. And over the years, CFYS has earned the respect and the trust of our community 
And I am confident that in selecting you to join their team, they believe that you will build on that respect and trust. So to Chief Lang and your leadership team, congratulations on the achievements of being organized and recognized for growing the team that we have today. On behalf of our community, we feel safer on your commitment to excellence and appreciate the dedication and the commitment that each of you in the entire team bring to serving the communities of Newmarket and Aurora. I wish the graduates much success and hope your careers with CFYS is rewarding. Thank you. Our next uh, guest speaker that I would like to uh, call up to uh, the podium is our MP, Leah Taylor Roy, for the communities of Aurora, Oak Ridges, and Richmond Hill. Well, thank you so much, um, and uh, Deputy Chief Ope, and it's really um, an honor to be here with you tonight. Um, even though my riding only has a part of Aurora, I have to explain that I do live in Aurora and I grew up in Newmarket, where my brother is now the mayor. And he's not here tonight, but um, thank you to all the councillors who are here from Newmarket and also from Aurora for being here. And to all of the, um, all of the officers from uh, CYFS, um, the people who have helped in, um, in human services and, and helping to bring all of these graduates here today, um, you look very different, I have to say, here than you did on those uh, in that video, <laughs> but uh, you look great. And uh, it really is, um, it takes a team. It takes a team to bring you to this point. And I just want to say how grateful I am personally. As I mentioned, I live in Aurora with my husband and children. And um, you might call me a frequent flyer of the emergency services around here. Um, hopefully I won't be meeting you at my home. I'm very happy to meet you here. But um, over the last um, past 18 months, um, the uh, first responders in uh, Central York saved my husband's life. And um, the first time was uh, December of 2021. And um, he had a, a serious heart attack and, and people like yourself came out um, and, um, and picked him up and, and helped. And, and you know, I was reading the, the qualities, the characteristics that you represent, and I saw all of those that evening. And um, unfortunately, he had a repeat in February of 22. Um, and once again, the first responders were there in very quick time and rushed him to our wonderful hospital in Newmarket. Um, and he made a full recovery. And then July 18th of last year, he had, went into full cardiac arrest. Um, and he was on the ground and um, not breathing. And um, I, I administered CPR very poorly, um, but with directions um, until you were able to get there. The first responders were able to get there. And um, once again, and I'm going to come, start to cry, but it's, it's so personal for me. And so I just want you to know what you're doing um, the job that you're taking on here um, is it, so important to our communities. And, and I hope that you're very proud of the accomplishments, your accomplishments here and, and what you do for us. And to all the families and friends of these new recruits, thank you for supporting them. Thank you for being there and allowing them to take on this, this role, which is one of great bravery and service and compassion. It means a great deal to our communities. So um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you and a deep congratulations um, for joining the team here. And I, like I said, I hope to see you again, um, just not at my house. <laughs> <laughs> If I could ask everyone to uh, bring your attention to the screens to view a video from our MPP, Don Gallagher Murphy, representing the riding of Newmarket and Aurora. 
Hello everyone. Thank you to Deputy Fire Chief Volpe for your very kind invitation to this evening's new recruit graduation ceremony. My name is Don Gallagher Murphy, Member of Provincial Parliament for Newmarket Aurora, and I'm very honoured to deliver this message virtually on this momentous occasion on behalf of our provincial government. To the graduates, congratulations to each of you on your hard-earned accomplishment. For months, you have studied hard and taken part in both physical and academic training in preparation for the Central York Firefighters Recruit Testing. I know the journey you have embarked upon is one of service to your fellow community members. You are on your way to becoming everyday heroes who work tirelessly to protect our community. Your success in this phase of your career has enabled you to be here this evening wearing the firefighter's uniform. And I wish I was there to see you all look so smart. Now, you will be responding to calls for help from our community. When our residents are in need, you are the ones who our community sends to help. This is an awesome responsibility and I congratulate you all for becoming one of those chosen few. Now, as you begin the next phase of your career, there will be personal challenges, missed birthday parties, missed family get-togethers and special events. This will all have an impact on your family. Now to the families of these honorable graduates, thank you for all that you do to support your family and loved one in their pursuit of building a safer Ontario. These sacrifices are greatly appreciated by those of us that your partners, family members will serve. I encourage you to remember that you are a team. Do things for the betterment of your team. The Central York Fire Service Organization this organization has been serving thousands of our community members. As a team, you will grow. And I look forward to returning for your Long Service Medal and Exemplary Service Medal Award ceremonies one day. Congratulations once again to each of you on behalf of our community and the province of Ontario. Thank you for your extraordinary courage and bravery. If I could ask, uh, we uh, keep our uh, eyes still on the big screens. Um, MPP Michael Parsa, representing the riding of Aurora, Oak Ridges and Richmond Hill, is not able to join us this evening. However, he wants to send uh, the recruits uh, their best wishes. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to extend my sincere congratulations to the recruit class of 2023, a group of brave individuals who have chosen to dedicate themselves to serving our community. Taylor Dallas, Lindsay Hoffman, Chris Sargent, Bailey Van Praet, Jacob Watson, and Trevor Fulcher. There's no doubt that these past few weeks have been filled with countless hours of intensive training that have put all of you to the test in different ways. And all of you, have proven yourselves to be hardworking, dedicated, courageous individuals who are ready for the next step in your careers. I want to thank each and every one of you in the class of 2023 and your families for your commitment to protecting and serving our community with integrity and honor. I also want to thank the team, the staff, and all the volunteers at Central York Fire Services for guiding the graduating class as they take on a more prominent role in our community. Congratulations on this momentous achievement and may each of you continue to inspire us with your commitment to public service. Thank you. Unfortunately, our worship, his mayor, Tom Maracas from the town of Aurora, is away on a business trip. He would also like to uh, send his best wishes and congratulate all of you for a job well done. And again, if I can uh, ask you to keep your eyes back on the big screen. 
Hello everyone. I apologize for not being able to join you in person, but I'm currently in Chicago with fellow mayors engaging in discussions about climate action initiatives for our communities and exploring collaborative opportunities for a brighter future. But while I'm not there in person, I wanted to take a moment to send you all a message and extend my heartfelt congratulations to the 2023 graduating Central York Fire Services recruits on behalf of the Town of Aurora and Aurora Town Council. To the graduates, Taylor, Lindsay, Chris, Bailey, Jacob, and Trevor, congratulations. Congratulations on completing your studies and joining the Central York Fire Services ranks. Now every year, there are hundreds of applicants to CYFS, but only a select few make it this far. And you should each be very proud of how far you have all come. But in addition to congratulating you, I also want to thank you for your dedication to serving our community. You have answered the call of public service and made a commitment to protect our residents. And I also want to thank the families of the new recruits who have provided their support and guidance throughout this journey. You know, you have all helped create these strong, talented, frontline heroes, and you should be very proud. I want to acknowledge Chief Lang and the members of Central York Fire Services team who diligently trained and taught these new recruits. Your dedication to these students and your role as leaders is inspiring. So once again, I want to congratulate our new recruits and I hope all of you have a long and successful career serving residents and the community. Okay. Our next uh, guest that I would like to welcome to the stage is Town of Newmarket Ward Councillor and Joint Council Committee Member Kelly Burke. Thank you, Rocco. And thank you all so much for having me. Yes, my name is Kelly Broom. I'm the Ward 6 Councillor for the Town of Newmarket and Vice Chair of Central York Fire Services Joint Committee. It is an honor and my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of Newmarket Mayor John Taylor, members of council, staff, and 89,000 residents of the town of Newmarket. I'm especially proud of our fire service, Central York Fire. Growing up, my uncle Wayne was a firefighter and I always respected his bravery, running into burning buildings while everyone else was running out. It takes a very special kind of person to choose to serve, to risk your lives to save others. Growing up, my neighbor and one of my best friends wanted to be a fireman. From kindergarten to college, I watched his career unfold. He taught me about community. He taught me about politics. He taught me about giving back. I learned about leadership, and I learned about mentorship. And today, we're lucky to have him as one of our own. I'm referring to Captain Sean Mitchell. Just one of our many amazing captains whom are all incredible human beings and mentors. Like our recruits today, your journey is very similar. Today, as graduates, on top of keeping our community safe, you will give back, lead, and mentor. Young children will look up to you, trust you, and want to be you. You have a very big role to play when you don the Central York Fire Crest, and I couldn't be more proud of every single one of you. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank your parents and families to supporting your journey to getting you to where you are today. Let's have a big round of applause for our graduate families and parents. Once again, thank you so much for having me and congratulations once again. I would like to welcome our very own Madam Chair of the Joint Fire Council Committee and also Ward Councillor for the Town of Aurora, Rachel Gilland. Thank you very much. Uh, Deputy Bowlby for that introduction. 
wow, there was so much said here. I'm not so sure how I have much to say because there are so many great things that were said tonight about all of you. Um, other than the fact I am honored and thrilled to be here, to have this opportunity to say a few words in recognition and congratulations to six new graduates that are heroic, courageous, and have bravery beyond measure. Um, I remember participating in the fire training day for just one day, one day, <laughs> and uh, along with some other colleagues here as well in this room. And we participated in the rappelling, we did a water course, uh, we did the claw, we did uh, the smokehouse, and oh, by the way, I did save the baby, <laughs> but probably not as gracefully and professionally as you, <laughs> so I'll leave that to you. Um, I did try to hold on to the hose when it was in full force, but uh, you, again, that's, that's totally up to you, but I did try. Um, so I guess the whole point of me saying that is that um, all of you must be very, very extraordinary individuals to endure nine weeks of this very tough life skill training to help protect us in the community. Much respect for all the hard work that you guys and gals do to be here today. And um, firefighters Dallas, Hoffman, Sergeant, Van Preet, Fulcher, and Watson, after tonight, you will begin your journey to protect and serve our community in ways that we, our community, cannot thank you enough. On behalf of the Town of Aurora, the JCC Committee, and all the residents in Aurora and Newmarket, congratulations. Our next guest that I'd like to uh, call upon is a dear friend of mine for uh, many years. I'd like to invite uh, Keith Wells to the stage. Keith is the Assistant Fire Marshal from the Office of the Fire Marshal in Emergency Management Ontario. I didn't need these when I started in the fire service, but I need them now. Good evening. I bring greetings to you on behalf of the Office of the Fire Marshal and our Fire Marshal John Pegg. It is an honor to be here today, and I thank you for the opportunity to take part in the celebration of the graduating recruit class. By the virtue of the war uniform you wear, you have the public's trust and you have the public's ear. Please treat every interaction with the public as an opportunity to teach them about how to prevent fires, about the importance of working smoke alarms, and the importance of home escape planning. I hope you never underestimate the important role each one of you plays in fire protection in the province of Ontario. Congratulations recruit graduates on this, the first of many milestones in your fire service career, and I wish you the very best in your career. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to invite Central York Professional Firefighters Association, Loco 2511, President Jason Booving to say a few words. Thanks Deputy for the uh, generous introduction. Um, Chief Officers, MP Van Bynen, MP Taylor Roy, Councillors Quaptis, Bizanz, Simon, Gardner, Gilliland and Broom, uh, thank you for coming tonight. Families, friends, and fellow firefighters. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jason Booving, and I'm the president of the Central York Professional Firefighters Association. I hold the rank of captain and have worked at a station 4-2 and been a career firefighter for 23 years. Along with my executive board, Treasurer Andre Bure, Vice President Tom Hunter, Secretary Mike Manistarski, and executive members Mike Petrova, Paul Horton, James O'Dell, and Philip Montgomery. We represent over 150 members of the CY PFFA and have the privilege of now being the representatives of this year's recruit class. It's always an honor when I'm asked to uh, speak at the graduation ceremony, and I take great uh, pride for our uh, membership uh, taking part of today's um, ceremony. The recruits will be joining a family of firefighters that will make sure no one le gets left behind and that everyone <clears throat> excuse me, goes home safe each and every day. 
their immediate family becomes our family. Wives, husbands, partners, children, and extended family all become ours. Recruits, welcome to one of the best, if not the best, department around. The progressive thinking of the management team, coupled with the support of both councils of Newmarket and Aurora, allows our members to respond to emergencies in a safe and effective ways. With the latest in health and safety protective equipment and the safest and technologically advanced fire apparatus in the industry. We have grown from two smaller departments to one fairly large oiled machine. Although the deputy and I don't, all, or the deputy and I don't always see eye to eye, most of the time we do, but sometimes he's right as well. Um, one thing we don't, I don't get to do enough um, is thank the management team for all their hard work and everything they put forward for our members. So, Deputy, on behalf of the uh, CYPFFA, thank you for all your uh, work with our members. I'm now going to take a minute and speak to the recruits directly. Uh, if you were here last year, um, I, I almost got yanked off the stage, so I'm, I made some adjustments to uh, some of my speaking notes. So, if you see the Deputy grab a pike pole, watch out, I'm going off. Um, you've done it. Congratulations. You've been, giving, been given an amazing opportunity. It's going to be a career where lifelong bonds and friendships will be built. It will challenge you. It's going to test you. It's going to wear on you. And sometimes it may even break you. But at best of all, it's going to reward you. Now I'm going to talk to you guys as if I'm uh, giving advice to my children. And by no means do I want you to think that I'm talking down to you. But there are a few things that I want uh, to speak on, and, and I need you to listen to each one carefully. Um, there's people that count on you, and there's, a, there's different groups, and I'm going to go through these groups uh, for you. The citizens. The citizens are the number one people that are going to depend on you. They're the customers you serve and the citizens that you've sworn to protect. They may not look like you. They may not dress like you. They may not make the same money. They may not act like you, but they count on you. When they call 911, whether it's their worst emergency, whether it's the worst emergency you've experienced or something that may not seem like a big deal to you, those people are counting on you. You're it. You're their help. You're going to what is going to be what's going to make their day better. You may be all that those citizens or customers have in that instant. They are someone's wife, mother, sister, husband, father, brother, grandmother, grandfather, or even a child. Someone loves them or did at one time. Your chance to make a difference to them and the people that love them. So be ready for that chance. Tonight, you're going to hear a lot of people talk about the good times. And trust me, there's a lot of good times, but there's also the serious times, and I'm going to touch on those quickly. In those serious times, that those citizens or customers that serve will count on you, and you will need to be ready for that. You've been given the starting tools here with the training officers of nine weeks of training to prepare for, to prepare for those serious times. But you'll also be given a career to learn and keep on learning. The second group that's going to count on you is your peers, your crew, or even your whole platoon. This job is not about you, it's about we. You're only as good as your team, and you can only be as good as the group. This job cannot have a weakest link, because when someone dials 911, it's their worst day. And all your preparation and training officers have put you through to prove to yourself that they will depend on writing the worst day for someone else. It's kind of like a football game, and it's the Super Bowl every time that the tones go off. Except there's no timeouts, there's no half times, there's no resets or playbacks. Remember, your peers count on you. The third group are your officers who depend on you. When I say officers, I mean your fire chief, your deputy chiefs, your platoon chiefs, your captains, and your acting captains. There's an old saying, and I've probably been told this by the management team a lot more than I can probably count. You were given and have two ears and one mouth for a reason. It's so you listen two times and then you, and then two times more than you talk. In this profession, especially in your early years, I'd go as far as saying, unless you're going to point out a problem or eat, you listen. Listen, listen, and listen some more. You're going to be on, assigned to trucks and station where, to where firefighters have been there and done that. They've seen the worst. They've seen people on their last breath, and some of them may, may have been able to turn them around. They have seen people lose their homes and belongings to devastating fire, as well as seeing people having to say goodbye to a loved one. It's not all bad, 
because more than not, they are making a difference in the lives of people for the good. Your officers have a lot to share and teach you, so just listen and learn every day, because every day can be a training day. Next is your family. Those people whose pictures are gonna be in your wallets, in your lockers, on your social media threads. The people that say I love you to you when you leave the house. The people whose pictures are all over your homes. The ones that have encouraged you, helped you, and remained by your side during your pursuit of this wonderful career. A little secret about those people that I'm gonna share with six of you is that they're gonna be scared and they're gonna worry and they're gonna be nervous. They might, may not tell you that, but they are. And what they are gonna do is trust us with your safety. Why, you ask? Because they know the firefighters have been hurt, killed, and we may have, and there, we, there may even be bloodlines in here today that have lost a loved one to an unfortunate accident or illness. Sometimes we must risk our lives, but most times we don't have to. And the more you gain, time you gain on this job, you'll understand the, that difference. And you will remember your family counts on you as much as this group of, of individuals here today. The last thing I'm going to talk about is your reputation. And for those that are counting, Deputy, I know you're one. I've scaled it back from 10 pages to eight and I'm on my seventh. Um, your reputation. Your reputation has started. It started nine weeks ago. Take a look at the uniform surrounding the room today. These members who, are, who work in the fire stations, that work in training, that work in administration and prevention, and also some of the officers that command the vehicles that you guys will be riding. They've already heard about you, and I know it's all good stuff, but keep it that way. Be the first to check your equipment, be the first to the bay floors. Stay on the bay floors. Be the first to grab a mop. Be the first to the truck. Be the first one in the morning to make sure the stuff that you need to do your job works. People are counting on you and never give up until your officer says it's time to give up. Whether it's in a burning building or at the fire station or during training evolutions, never give up, it's your reputation. It's for you to write. It's for you to earn that reputation by working hard, listening, learning, studying, and training. This job has a brotherhood and sisterhood unlike any other job in the world. So be your own author of your career and your reputation. But look, the best advice I can give you all is to never forget why you're here. You are here to help, and here to help the citizens on their worst day. When they can't turn to anyone but you, they call 911. Your peers, your family, your officers, and the department, we are all counting on you. So don't let any of us down. And don't ever forget to be proud of the, to wear the uniform of the Century York Fire Service's crest pinned on it. And be proud to respond in the vehicles that serve the citizens of Newmarket and Aurora. These citizens are the ones that we have vowed to serve and protect. Don't ever forget why you're here and why you've been chosen to join the greatest profession there is. Thank you, congratulations, and welcome to Central York and the Central York Professional Firefighters. Thank you, uh, Captain. Thank you, President Boving. Those were uh, wise words, thank you. As I mentioned, uh, our fire chief, Ian Lang is not able to join us tonight. He asks that I bring greetings from his office. Now, for those who know the chief, they know that the chief has a way with words. He's very uh, articulate, charismatic, and uh, it's hard for me to, uh, to uh, clone him, but I'm gonna try my best. So, from the chief's office. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. It's not what you see, it's how you look at it. It's not how your life is, it's how you live it. Thank you to all those that have attended tonight to celebrate the graduation of our six newest recruits. I am very proud to be the chief, the chief of such a progressive fire department and with the support of JCC and councils of Aurora Newmarket. We are building an ongoing organization that is dedicated to protecting the lives and properties of our communities. These are exciting times. We are coming up to our one year anniversary in our newest fire station. 
This is the first recruit class that has been trained in our new fire headquarters. There are always challenges when you move into a new facility. However, our team has always pulled together to make the transition as seamless as possible. For the first time in our existence, the training division is housed in the same building as the chief officers. I have been exposed to the recruits more than any other group we have hired since 2010 and I cherish every moment of it. Our department is growing and since I started with CYFS we have hired 102 positions. Many thanks to the selection committee for their hard work to sort out through hundreds of applicants to find the best candidates to fit into our organization. As a team, we will move the department forward and meet the challenges that lay ahead. For the last nine weeks, these recruits have worked together as a team to face the challenges the training officers brought forward. The training officers are all experienced firefighters and have a wealth of knowledge they have shared with the recruits, whom will bring forth to their assigned platoons starting Monday. We could not proceed such high quality recruits without the hard work and coordination of the training staff. Thank you. We are indebted to everyone that has participated in the development of this 2023 recruit class. Congratulations to all the graduates our newest firefighters, we are very pleased that you have joined our team and are ready to serve the residents of Aurora and Newmarket. And most of all, I cherish the times that we worked on our crossword puzzles in the kitchen. <laughs> Graduates, the chief will be visiting you individually at your stations he would like to personally give you a CYFS challenge coin from the chief's office. Now in our program, I would like to introduce the leader of our training division, our very own Assistant Deputy Chief, Claude Duval. Good evening, everyone. What a great uh, opportunity being part of such an important milestone in the career of uh, the firefighters tonight. Tonight they're coming from being a recruit to a graduate and they're becoming firefighters tonight. And it's, a, it's, a great, it's great to be part of that milestone. There's a quote from an, uh, a member of Anchorage, Alaska Fire Department that always resonated with me. And it always resonated with me because it truly represents the attitude of the people who serve in the fire service. That quote says, I am not here for me. I am here for we. And we are here for them. Them in the fire service is, is everyone that's sitting in this room tonight. Them is your family. Them is the taxpayer. Them is that child that looks at a big red truck go by and she's already dreaming of becoming a firefighter someday. Them is that police officer that is a little bit jelly as he's looking at that child already <laughs> dreaming of becoming a firefighter someday. But hey, we paid, we paid attention on career day. Them is the 25-year-old drug user that we responded to last week. And we're on our way right now to administer another shot of naloxone so that person can live another day. Whether they take that day to make the conscious choice to come clean or make the choice to take another hit. Because for us as firefighters, firefighters them are all equal. And we are here for them, all 
of them. The young, the old, the rich, the poor, the ones that share or the one who oppose our political views. The ones that, regardless of how they identify or who they choose to love. We are here for all of them. Graduates, we chose you among several hundred five other people, several, several hundred applicants, because we believe in you. We chose you because we know you will carry the legacy of the ones that were here before us and made this department and the fire service as a whole what it is today. Do not let their work go to waste. I trust that you will thrive to keep learning and be the best firefighters you can be. Because you may be going to different crews, different platoons, different stations, but the class of 2023 will always be the class of 2023. And that class will not tolerate mediocrity. Because you are so much better than that. You've demonstrated in the last nine weeks that you are so much better than that. This department is so much better than that as well. You will be the firefighters that the captains want to have on their crew. And together, you will, be there. you will be there for them, all of them. Congratulations to all of you. And just like we chose you, thank you for choosing us. And welcome to our family. It is now the time, the time to introduce our graduates. Please feel free to take pictures. The stage and officers will also be available after the fact, uh, afterwards for pictures, after the presentations. Deputy, please take the center stage. If I could also request uh, MP Van Bynen and Leah Taylor Roy to please make their way to, uh, by, yeah, beside the truck there, yes, to the right of the stage, to uh, the antique fire truck. They will be presenting certificates to each graduate as well. Uh, I'd like also to bring uh, Joanne Beatty, who is here on behalf of uh, MPP Don Gallagher Murphy. One. First firefighter I will call forward, firefighter Taylor Dallas. <laughs> Taylor has a firefighting pre-service diploma from Fleming College, as well as a fire and life safety system technician diploma from Durham College. He worked as a petroleum mechanic. He has been a paid on call firefighter with the township of Scugog Fire Department. In attendance for him tonight is Captain Jack Drinkwater from Pickering Fire Services and Constable Morgan Dallas from Nishnabi Aktiski Police Fire Service. Taylor is assigned to D Platoon under the leadership of Captain Linklater. Firefighter Chris Sargent. Chris graduated from Seneca College in pre-service firefighter program. He has been working for the town in Newmarket for the last 11 years. He has been a paid on call firefighter with Georgina Fire and Rescue. Here supporting Chris is Murray Blight, retired CYFS firefighter, Marshall Horton and John McLean, firefighters for Georgina Fire and Rescue. Chris is assigned to C platoon under the leadership of Captain Buckingdale. <laughs> Firefighter Trevor Falcher. <laughs> Trevor
Trevor graduated the Plumbing Apprenticeship Program with honors from Conestoga College. He's also a G2 gas technician. He obtained his firefighter certification while serving as a paid on call firefighter with a township of Woolwich Fire Department. Here for Trevor is Captain Keith Falcher, Captain Tom Snyder, and firefighter Tyler Falcher with Woolwich Fire Department. Trevor is assigned to C Platoon under the leadership of Captain Milliken. Better Bailey Van Praet. <laughs> Bailey has a Fire Protection and Engineering Technician Diploma from Seneca College, a Firefighter Pre-Service Diploma from Lambton College, a Construction and Maintenance Electrician Certificate, as well as a Gas Technician Certificate from Fanshawe College. He's currently completing a Leadership Professional Certificate from Western University. He has been a paid on call with firefighter with Middlesex Center Fire and Emergency Services. Bailey is assigned to B Platoon under the leadership of Captain Hunter. Firefighter Lindsay Hoffman. <laughs> Lindsay graduated from Ryerson University with a bachelor degree in child and youth care. She has a pre-service firefighting diploma from Durham College. She has been deployed on provincial wildland firefighting missions and has been a part of a part-time firefighter with Creston Fire and Rescue in Creston, BC. In attendance, supporting Lindsay, are firefighter Matt Shembry from Toronto Fire and Rachel Nicoletto from Kitchener, Kitchener Fire Department. <laughs> Lin <laughs> Lindsay is assigned to D Platoon under the leadership of Captain Knight. Our next graduate has an electrical engineering technician diploma from Georgian College. He obtained his firefighter certification from Southwest Fire Academy and has been a paid on call firefighter with Tay Township Fire and Emergency Services where he was serving as an acting captain. In attendance for him is Jesse Bond, acting captain with Orangeville Fire Department and Kristen Scriver, telecommunicator with Toronto Fire Service. He's assigned to C Platoon under the leadership of Captain Marshall. Ladies and gentlemen, our final graduate, voted by his peers as a class of 2023 valedictorian, firefighter Jacob Watson. Welcome all friends and family, members of parliament, and town officials. I would like to start off by thanking the towns of Newmarket and Aurora and all the chief staff here at CYFS for giving my classmates and I this once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm positive I could speak for the entire class when I say you truly did make the dreams of six kids come true. <clears throat> Allowing us this opportunity to not only join the family of one of the best fire services in the province, but at the same time being welcomed in the two fantastic communities is something that we will forever be indebted to you for. I'd now like to thank the training staff, 
Over my short time in the fire service, I've been fortunate enough to have had the opportunity to both take and instruct various courses across the province. I can tell you firsthand the role of a training officer is no easy task. The hours of scheduling, creating lesson plans, organizing equipment, and Captain Nagel's favorite, rescheduling and reorganizing everything when your lesson is interrupted for extremely important birthday celebrations. Oh, and I forgot to mention having to deliver all the material to a group of six misfits whose attention is seemingly non-existent when the crews here get a call and we're all running to the window trying to watch the trucks roll out. In all seriousness though, over the past nine weeks my classmates and I have seen a prime examples of professionalism, overflowing knowledge and a true passion for the fire service. I could truly say without reservation that the training staff here at CYFS are some of the best, if not the best, training officers I've ever had the pleasure to learn from and work alongside. From all of us in the class of 2023, thank you. I'd now like to thank all the friends and family here today. I know this has been a journey, a very long journey. Some of us nearly a decade. This has not only been a journey for us, the ups and the downs, but this has been a journey for you. You all deserve to be up here just as much as we do. I know I can speak for not only myself, but the rest of my classmates when I say that not a single one of us would be here without each and every one of you. You deserve more thanks than we'll ever be able to give you, and your continued support across the long careers I hope we all have will forever be appreciated. Now before I get too emotional, I think it's time to switch it up and get to the class, the six pack. <laughs> we all dreamt of the day where we got the phone call informing us that we have achieved our dream of getting hired. This dream is closely followed by somewhat of an anxious waiting game, wondering who you're going to be spending the first few months of your career with. Wondering if everyone will fit in, wondering if the group will work well together, and most importantly if we'll have fun doing it. The anxiousness was quickly put to bed once we met each other on our first day. Everyone clicked right away, sharing stories of their past and getting to know one another right away. Sorry, gloves. It was an absolute honor being able to work with such an enthusiastic and skilled individual like Chris Sargent. We could always count on Chris to walk in with a smile from ear to ear, usually followed by him reminding us of how many generations his family's worked in Newmarket. Then we've got Larry, also known as Trevor Falter. Larry is a definition of a true work, hard working farm boy, pushing through everything and never giving up, even when he looked deathly ill. <laughs> now on to the family man Opa, or Bailey Van Prey. Being the oldest in his class, the name Opa came naturally from his younger and very less mature classmates. Seeing Opa, live over two and a half hours away from his wife and his sons every day for nine weeks and still maintaining his positive attitude and his high performance was truly admirable. Now all the way from Creston, BC, we've got Lindsay Hoffman. She quickly got the field promotion to class captain as she was always the one to round us goofs up and keep us in line. Also, did I mention she came from Creston, BC? And last but not least, we have Hipster, also known as Taylor Dallas. <laughs> Hipster's one-liners and phenomenal baking skills had the class loosened up on even the most stressful of days. It was a pleasure and a blast spending the past nine weeks with all of you. I could say with confidence that you'll all be fantastic firefighters, probationary firefighters, I might add, keep that in mind. I look forward to working alongside all of you for hopefully many more years to come. I'm now going to close this speech out with a classic Chris Sargent, let's go. <laughs> Excellent job, uh, Jacob. It's been a, a pleasure, uh, it's been a pleasure seeing you grow over the last uh, nine weeks and um, they picked a good one. The next uh, step in our graduates' uh, journey is to take the uh, Central York Fire Services Oath. 
Traditionally, public servants take an oath, elected officials take an oath of office, military personnel take an oath of service or an oath of allegiance. There are many definitions of what an oath uh, is. For the purpose of the fire service, I feel the most accurate is that it is a sworn promise of diligency carried out the duties and responsibilities of a uh, position. Graduates, please stand as you take the CYFS oath. Deputy Chief Assistant Duval. Girls, remove headdress. And repeat after me. I solemnly swear to faithfully and impartially execute the duties of firefighter to Central York Fire Services. I will treat all members of the community with respect, compassion, and empathy. Regardless of their social status, ethnicity, or religion, I will earn and maintain the trust and confidence placed in me by my community. I will uphold the Central York Fire Service's vision, mission, and values. and serve with professionalism, honor, and integrity. I will take advantage of every learning opportunity and respect the knowledge and experiences of firefighters who have come before me. I will wear my uniform with pride and professionalism as it unites us all as a department, community, and family. Place address. In November of 2017, Central York Fire Services suffered the loss of one of our own, Firefighter Chris Lowe. Chris Lowe was one of our 2016 recruits in which he was chosen by his classmates as class valedictorian. In the short time he was with us, Chris left such an impression and impact. In Firefighter Lowe's memory, CYFS has created a memorial award which will be presented to recruits who demonstrate outstanding skills, academic performance, teamwork, and charisma. These are the attributes and traits of character that Chris demonstrated every day. Chris would be, please make your way to the bottom of those stairs. Please join me in welcoming Becky Lowe, Julie, his daughter, Peyton, his daughter, to announce this year's recipient. Becky. I wanted to start by saying we are incredibly proud of everyone's hard work and dedication through the recruitment training. You have all, 
You have all been given the knowledge and skills to be great firefighters. And in my dad's words, my challenge to each of, each of my brothers and sisters is to stay humble, work hard, and don't forget why we are here. I know the recipient of the Crystal Memorial Award will carry on my dad's legacy and demonstrate his commitment to the Central York Fire Services. This year's recipient for the 2023 Chris Lowe Memorial Award is Chris Sargent. Chris, please make your way to the stage. Um, thank you um, to the training officers for um, voting on this for me to receive this award. I don't think any of us uh, really prepared uh, for this uh, award, so I don't really have anything written down. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is we took the training officers out for dinner the other night on Tuesday night, and uh, we were having a discussion, and one of the uh, items of discussion that came up was we asked about Chris Lowe and what he was like. Um, um, Cat Montgomery and Cat Burdett told us that he was a firefighter's firefighter. Um, he was the kind of individual that you always wanted to be around, you could always go to, and you could always uh, kind of look up to as a new guy. So um, myself demonstrating all these, uh, these traits and these personalities that Chris uh, demonstrates, I hope to continue on over the years and be able to be that guy as well. So thank you very much for this opportunity. It's an honor. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the accomplishments of our newest firefighters. Before this ceremony comes to a close, I would like to acknowledge the following Central York Fire Services personnel for their hard work and dedication for planning this special evening. From our administration team, Christine Fairbarn, Ali Wigmore, May Lamour, Laura Beenstra, Julie Markovsky, Joshua Oberfrank, our IT specialist, Training Captain Tamara Reutman. I would also like to say a special thank you to Don Wright. Rabbit Productions and joining us uh, tonight. He has been taking outstanding uh, video video uh, videos. Uh, Don, where are you? There he is. Don, thank you for all the great videos. <laughs> also, like to say thank you to Timothy uh, Veenstra, who is also joining us this evening and taking photos of our special night. Thank you, Tim. Can't uh, forget Pat Reed, our uh, piper. Thank you, Pat. Our wonderful Seneca College students. Thank you for uh, joining us this evening and uh, helping out. Our uh, future firefighters, is that right? <laughs> Uh, I'd also like to uh, say thank you to Alana. Uh, Alana is our co-op student. She uh, studies at Sacred Heart Catholic High School in uh, Newmarket. Thank you, Alana. <laughs> Central York Fire Services wishes all graduates success in their firefighting uh, careers. In closing, I would like to invite May to lead us in the firefighter's prayer and close out this evening's graduation. May? Good evening, everyone. If everyone can please remove your headdress and bow your heads. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life. 
wherever it may be their age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, quickly and efficiently to put that fire out. I want to fill my calling to give the best to me, to guard my every neighbor and protect their property. And if according to your will, I must answer death's call, bless with you, your protecting hand, my family, one and all. Thank you, May. This concludes uh, tonight's uh, graduation ceremony. I would uh, now like to welcome everyone to enjoy some cake and cookies. Good luck, be safe, and welcome to the greatest profession in the world. Deputy Duval. <laughs> Deputy Duval, march off the graduates. But it is amazing because you have six individuals that come on day one not knowing anything about one another and not knowing anyone's strengths and weaknesses. And in the course of nine weeks, they learn to work together, they learn the skills and apply the skills in a team environment from live fire to technical rescue. And they, they did an amazing job. And we're very proud of what they've achieved in the course of those nine weeks. A is something that Lindsay has dreamed of and all of us have stood by her and we're so proud of her. We're really proud of her. I am very proud of her. I can't believe it. <laughs> very much proud. No, I couldn't be any prouder. Of our oldest son, he's done a very good job and he's super excited to be here. I'm really proud, yeah. Well, I supported him and uh, yeah, convinced them to keep trying and keep in touch, yeah. Great, he's been... Uh, building up for this all his life, and uh, we do a good job. He was here weekly with his mother, drove her crazy, I'm sure. Uh, knew all the guys here, knew all the numbers on the trucks, knew where all the equipment was. The hard work's finally paid off. We're super proud of him. <laughs> How proud are you, Dad? Very proud of him. <laughs> Oh, I can't even put it into words. He's been waiting so long for this. I'm so excited for him. <laughs> you know, it's amazing because on day one of the recruit class, I often ask them, how long have you been trying? And it is not uncommon at all to hear people say, I've been trying for 10 years. In this class, we have an individual that has been trying for 10 years to get on this job. So it is not something that is easy. Uh, we really pick the best of the best. 